everyone and welcome to my channel this is Leslie and today I'm sharing a layout with you that I'm making for the Justnik design team and our um, assignment this week is to use some of the word phrases in the shop and I am going to be using the phrase let the adventure begin from the cut file called new year uh, words and um, I cut out four of the um, four phrases and I'm just going to be sticking them on top of each other um, layering them very um, precisely and that's going to create sort of a well a, <laughs> a thick title um, sort of chipboard like type if, if you if if you will so um, the photo that I'm going to be using is of me on my uh, birthday the other day and I turned 35 <laughs> <laughs> and I don't feel 35 I don't know what 35 is supposed to feel like but um, I, I had a shock I, I was thinking I turned 34 and then I realized it's 35 and it, it happened to a friend of mine as well and um, <laughs> she her birthday was earlier this year and she was also turning 35 and then with a shock, she was also realized, no, she's not turning 34, she's turning 35. <laughs> so I'm, sure, I'm sure the older we get, the more this happens, hey, where we <laughs> don't have our right <laughs> um, uh, ages. But anyway, <laughs> so you'll see here that I am using the patio party uh, collection from Pebbles, and I'm going to be paper piecing a two-layered cake. Um, I have a very specific idea of what I want to do, and um, uh, this is quite easy. Um, I don't have a template, I just eyeball the cake. It's wonky, it's messy, um, it's not symmetrical, and um, I'm doing that on purpose. Um, so, uh, you know, um, and, and it's sort of like my personality, you know. Um, I wanted to use very colorful papers, and um, I wanted this layout to sort of reflect most of my personality in any case. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just uh, 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 sticking that bottom layer down on some cardstock that I'm just going to be backing it onto. And this just helps to add some um, uh, differentiation and some outlining and, and so forth um, for the cake uh, without doing too much. Um, to the cake to get the outlining and so on and it also adds some layers and and so forth and i like the white outlining in any case so um so yes um the day that we went out for my birthday we went um to sort of like a i won't say a bistro or but they sell burgers and these massive milkshakes i mean they are huge and um the uh, it's it's a new thing here um well, I'm not sure how new, but <laughs> it's recent. Um, uh, these massive milkshakes with pieces of cake on top of the milkshake, and it's it's quite quite amazing. So the kids each had a massive milkshake, which they just got to eat the tops off, and then they were in any case <laughs> full. <laughs> so I got a I got a massive milkshake with a piece of funfetti cake on top with sprinkles and. And the whole thing um you know to celebrate my birthday so that's a picture of me there <laughs> i i wanted to use a color picture because i wanted to um uh focus on the funfetti sprinkles and the you know um and the cake and and the sprinkles on my milkshake but then everything else in the restaurant if you know there's lots of people behind me so it's all different colors and um yeah so i just decided no let's just keep it black and white and simple and then you know and then it's not too contrasting to what I'm going to be doing on the page um, so yes I'm just making the little um, uh, little sticks <laughs> that's going to be holding up my title and the title is also going to serve as a, a cake topper for the cake that I've created and that was my whole idea with that title um, I didn't want to make it any bigger. Um, I wanted it to serve as the title of my page and as sort of the you know an element um, of the cake. So um, yeah, I'm just going to be 
mounting my photo on some white cardstock. Now, I don't usually mount a photo on white cardstock. I just felt that I needed to, to do it with this photo, um, as I would be doing lots of, um, uh, well, not lots, but some mixed media on the background, and I wanted the photo to stand out from the, from the back of the, of the loud. So I'm just placing the two pieces of cake um, on the loud to see where I am going to start with my mixed media. And the idea again, I had very specific idea. I wanted to create something like um, firework, a fireworks effect, like. Um, you know the little line of the firework going up in the sky and then the little explosion and um yeah and it it i again i mean it i wanted to create the this i mean it's specific but i didn't um i wasn't too um specific about what the little splashes and 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 ball should look like um at the top the little exploding bits so i was quite quite happy with with how this little um, with how these fireworks turned out and it's messy and it's not symmetrical and <laughs> and 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 but you know what it's um, I suppose it's quite like my personality and quite like what I am <laughs> I'm a bit all over the place most of the time so <laughs> and that's that's I, I, I think that's what the um, uh, fireworks represent um, a bit of color and um, a little bit of explosion all over the place and I bring in some black color shine as well just to add some black bits in the photo just to bring in some more of that black to the to the background and as soon as I put down my cake I realized that I needed to extend those um, little firework um, lines a little bit so I just go on and extend some of them a little bit there the, the green and the yellow so, and now this title looks very bland and at first I thought I, you know, I'd bring out my black pen and I will um, outline it. But then I thought, no, outlining, no, it's going to take me forever. So I just took some of the Heidi Swap hot pink, um, the color shine, and I dabbed some of it onto the letters and I just painted it on with a little paintbrush and it worked beautifully. It <laughs> it spread really well and um, and also because these four layers of this paper stuck together it didn't warp whatsoever I mean I added a lot of that um, color shine to the to the um, title there and it didn't warp whatsoever um, so I was very very happy with how that turned out um, and I think I like the the fact of layering um, word phrases um, it, it sort of gives them more body <laughs> because I realized that this um, this uh, word phrase it is small um, it's the word adventure is about four inches across so the little words let the and begin would be really small so I would need something to to make it a bit more sturdy so I had this idea that I wanted to use um, those uh, dimensional stickers um, from the from from the collection and I love them I bought two of the packs and I've tried to use them on some of my layouts and I just <laughs> they're too beautiful I didn't want to use them so on this layout I literally forced myself to use them and they're going to change um, the the composition is going to change there I'm not going to be putting them um, in a little <laughs> sort of a ribbon around the cake there I mean if I look at it now it looks quite sweet actually it looks like a little garland but it's it's not going to stay that way and um, I'm going to be changing some of that up I didn't want to cover up too much of that um, the, the top of the pink cake and um, so the cake topper is now is now ready and I wanted to stick my photo down because I kept on changing my mind as to how my photo should be angled and how far up and how far down it should be. So I just stuck it down. And the title does go over most of my photo, but that's okay. I mean, it's, it doesn't go over my face. It doesn't, you, you know, it doesn't go over, over any important bits. <laughs> you can see the milkshake still at the bottom if you look carefully and, and I'm happy with that. So I do go into the ephemera pack and I take out some of the flowers that's in the ephemera pack and I just... Um, 
you know, uh, take some of the elements out that, that, that I really think, you know, would be quite sweet. And in my last video, I said something about, um, you know, being too specific and being too finicky and um, <laughs> being too planny planny, <laughs> how, <laughs> however you want to say it. And um, I applied, um, again, what I tried to say in the last video of just putting something down and letting it go. <laughs> Don't fuss about too much <laughs> with it. So I took out some of the ephemera and for example, that basket um, at the bottom left hand corner with the bread and it doesn't really have anything to do with the layout, but I mean, it, it, it's, it's to do with a party and it could be some nice little snacks in a party, you know? So <laughs> I, I just decided I'm going to take out what I like and I'm going to use it on this page. And I love that little uh, glass box or I don't know what you call those little things, terrariums, or, you know, with a little bee in and the little yellow flowers. I love that. So um, that's also making it onto the page. And and as I was going on with this page, the more and more random <laughs> items make it onto the page. And I thought to myself, well, this isn't what I would usually do um, in a layout, but this layout is about me. And it's not just about... A birthday and I wanted to reflect some of the the things that I like about myself as well. Um, I haven't really done any um, layout, well not a lot of layouts about myself so I thought you know let me go to town on this one <laughs> and see <laughs> how much I can get onto it and um, I like the way everything balanced out nicely on the cake. Um, you'll see how I um, like the bottom left hand corner um, there's a lot on there and then on the other side of the cake there's a little bit less and then the next tier of the cake there's a little bit more and then um, on the other side of the cake uh, I don't know if you can see that balance um, that I try to create on the cake and um, you'll see there that I stuck that uh, striped black and white balloon over the the pink um, splatter uh, that I tried to create there and um, I didn't like the boldness of the pink so I just stuck the balloon over there and it looks really I mean I like it so um, I'm, I'm going to do some work um, off camera I did add some uh, enamel dots just some yellow ones and some pink ones and I added my journaling and my journaling is just about me turning 30 and not feeling any older than 25 there's another bit of randomness <laughs> that went on there. I mean, <laughs> just stick a flamingo in there. And why not? I mean, why not? Why not? <laughs> so there you go. It's having a flamingo as well. So, um, yeah, my journaling is just about me turning 35 and how I don't feel any older. Um, and just about, uh, you know, I know that I know that God has plans to prosper me and not to harm me and plans to give me a future. And I hope that this encourages you as well. And um, there you go. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.